Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back to the channel today to another Alliance War Season 7. So this is War number 9. Uh, I-30 is going up against Riz. So, I'm gonna take Path 9 this war because some dumbass took Path 7 for me. But, okay, but first up, first fight, I have like this, what, um, rank 1, 5 star goal. I went in with Blade this like, what, not even 10 hits. So I'm like, do, I do 10 hits, and that, that's it. That's the fight. The fight's over. I'm like... Yeah, that was kind of too easy. So the next one, I've got this 440 Mystic Champion on just a basic node. I'm thinking if it's a villain, uh, it's my day, and it is. It's it's a freaking Loki. I'm like, okay, this is not even gonna be 10 hits. So I do a basic five combo, and this guy is dead within six hits. I'm like, okay, fine, we'll take that as well. Uh, next up, we finally have a champion with enough health. This is a 345 Cosmic on an Enhanced Bleed. I was not sure who it was, but I dusted off magic after a long time. I put, I took her in to honest for attack after like, what, 3-4 months? 3-4 seasons, and it's a carnage. I'm like, I should have taken Blade, man. Blade would have been much faster, but I was, uh, I was not too stingy because, well, I, I hadn't used magic in like, a long time, so... I was, uh, was kind of happy that I finally got a chance to dust her off. So if you're wondering where my Medusa is, you guessed it, she's in defense. Uh, one of my officers knocked me up online and he's like, I know you love playing with Medusa, man, but um, she's going to be way better in defense. Uh, I'm like, okay, so I placed her uh, in defense this war and brought in magic instead of Medusa. Uh, so this that was a quick fight. Next up, we have the Stun and Bleed Immune Rhino mini boss. Uh, that's... Uh, that's really that's really good placement in this node. Uh, he, this is a 455, so I'm like a little bit uh, careful uh, going in because Rhino has those you know unblockable charges, so I'm unstoppable charges. So playing a stunning mean Rhino is kind of tricky because you can't really intercept. Here I mess up. I back up way too much just to evade a special one, and I, then I do clip to this unstoppable charge. Uh, I'm like. A little bit flustered, but I'm not shaking because, you know, it's just a 455. I'm not going to be using Blade for any other fight. So I'm just chilling in the corner, uh, throwing a special Sue uh, that does some really decent damage. Um, I try uh, to push into the special Sue as much as I can because that's really better. That's easier to evade. I go ahead, hit a couple times on the block, and he throws a special Sue. I go in after that. I do a standard 5 combo with class advantage and danger sense. I'm hitting like a freaking truck. But it's taking time because, of course, it's a 455. Uh, it's got he's got like a ton of health, anyways. And it's Rhino, man. Rhino has more health than other champs. And there you go. My phone fucks me over this time. Uh, a Facebook notification pops up. He catches me with an unblockable charge. Took a took a bunch of my health. And right here, you can see my girlfriend knocks me. Uh, the only time I forget to close my chat head for Messenger, it pops up because it will. Remember, kids. Always close the chat heads before playing. So that fight goes well. Uh, I don't die there, of course, because Blade has a ton of health and is 455. So here I have the boss fight. This is a 455 Medusa on the boss node. If y'all are wondering why I went in with the nodes on, I waited 10 straight hours for the Alliance to take all the nodes down. They didn't. I'm like, screw it, I don't have all day just to wait around for them to take the nodes down. So I went in with uh, this... Uh, the node was actually 300% health and attack and uh, enhanced special 2. So nothing much. I'm like, uh, that magic should have enough damage to cut through this Medusa. So here you can see I'm baiting heavies. I'm not countering. I'm countering. I start countering them when she has uh, living strands up. You can see I have Mystic Dispersion on, so I get get like a bunch of power uh, after her uh, fury expires. So I'm the tactic I'm going to be following in this fight is like, uh, save up to a special 3. When she reaches like 3 of those Furies on her living strands, I'm gonna throw a special 3. Uh, that's gonna do decent damage. As you can see that I don't hit her more than once when she has those 3 Furies up, because if I do a second hit, she has a chance to auto-block and parry me, and then combo me into Oblivion. So, first special 3 down, uh, she has got like 78% health, uh, and I've only spent like a minute, so I'm already kind of nervous that... I might not have enough time, I might time out in this fight, but uh, I wasn't thinking about that at the moment. I do standard 5 combos when she does not have living strands, I uh, hit her on the block a few times just to bait out that special one. Um, cause I'm, like, I'm sweating out here, because there's like 
uh, just a bit more than a minute left, and she has more than 50% health, like, she's at, like, what, 71%, so I panic, I start panic right here, um, I take a few blocked hits, uh, she throws a heavy, I save up for special 3 again, uh, with Mystic Dispersion, it's really easy, uh, with, uh, it's really easy gaining power against, like, Medusas and people with buffs, so, I throw another special 3, perfect 20% damage, and, like, that's, like, a little over a minute left, I'm, definitely gonna time out in this fight so I'm thinking like I, I need to do as much damage as I can so you, as you can see that special 3 did like 19k almost 20k damage so I'm like damn if there wasn't that 300% health and tag boost I, I could have soloed this fight a little bit of a spoiler I do time out in this fight uh, you can see like in 57 seconds there you go, I heavy counter for the second time in this fight. Uh, it's really easy with magic, and uh, it's re actually very effective because she has like four heavy hits, so it's better. Uh, I, there I go, I throw off my heavy again, that does some decent damage, uh, and her furies expire, I get a bunch of power from that, and I'm at a special three again. She's down 50%, but the clock is just running out. I've got like 36 seconds. I throw in another five combo, she throws a special one. Um, I go in, do a hit, and throw my special three again. Uh, this time I get like a 12% damage bonus and throw off my special 3. Uh, that takes her down to, what was that, 43%. So that's some decent damage out of that special 3 as well. Um, 7k, not as much as the last one, because the last one did like 20k. So I'm like 15, 14 seconds, I'm just watching the clock and watching her health. It's like, she's got 41% left, I'm definitely gonna time out. So I do like 3 hits when she has uh, those furies up. I'm, I'm really thanking God that she didn't auto block me and kill me because that's, that would have been worse than timing out. So last one, I uh, counter her heavy, 88 hits. I take down 63% of her health and I time out. That's a death. So I'm super pissed here. I'm like, okay, I took that much health in one, one try. I can definitely finish this one and uh, be done with this boss fight with only one death, with only one time out, right? So I go in with magic. I'm super pissed at my last mates. My officers are not even screaming at me because they, they saw that I was waiting for this note to go down for 10 hours. So they can't say anything. So here I miss an intercept. Medusa clips me, does a ton of damage, but Limbo saves my ass uh, for me. I heal back up to like 68%. And then she throws off another heavy. I do one, two hits for some reason. And here I miss the evade on the heavy. And she clips me 3k, 8k, 11k, and I die. That's the second death, and I'm like super pissed. I don't even heal up Blade. I just go straight in to kill this Medusa. I, I'm, I'm this rage uh, here for, I, I like, I'm hating on my alliance so much right now. I'm cursing them, cursing the shit out of them, and I go in with Blade. I miss a parry on the first try. I do a parry, I get a bleed up. Uh, evade a special, do like 5 combo, I'm thinking, okay, this is decent enough damage, uh, if I play alright, I can get through this, I do one, one, one hit with her furies up, I do regen a bit, and she is not throwing her heavy, I'm backed up against the wall, she's got those furies up, I'm like, I'm, I'm sweating here, and she clips me with her heavy again, look at that heavy damage, 9.4k, and I die, for the third time. So, yeah, I, I ended up qu like quitting the game straight away. I, I was feeling so sad. I was feeling really bad. Uh, but we did end up losing the war, so it didn't matter in the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Uh, smash the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content. And hope you had an absolutely fantastic time.